Tonight we'll give you some more information on the tornado warnings that woke everybody up last night, as well as a look at the second annual Harry Potter Yule Ball. VTV News starts right now. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Schumann. The National Weather Service issued a tornado warning for Davidson County last night at 3.07 a.m. Vanderbilt officials began moving students to basements and hallways away from windows just before 3.30. With more on the story, here's Carly Vaughn. Unless you were an exceptionally heavy sleeper, you were probably wakened last night by Vanderbilt's trusty severe weather siren, which goes off whenever there is tornadic activity within a certain radius of campus. The storm last night left Vanderbilt looking pretty gloomy today with rains through the early morning, some debris on the ground, overcast skies, and even a felled branch near Kensington Garage. I sat down with Scott Rausch, Associate Director of the Office of Housing and Residential Education, to discuss what's the procedure for having students evacuate their rooms and what exactly happened last night. Around uh, 3 to 2.30, um, the uh, Weather Service uh, announced that um, there was potentially tornadic activity within the range uh, of Vanderbilt that sets off the sirens. Um, the way that it works is uh, uh, if, if tornadic activity, activity happens in Davidson County, County, of course, the, 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 the sort of um, the higher sort of what sounds like a beep siren goes off. Uh, and then if it's within uh, a certain radius of campus, uh, and I forget the actual distance, I think it's um, 25 miles or, or something to that effect, um, then the sort of more um, old school horn siren goes off, and that's the Vanderbilt siren, which means at that point in time, if you hear that siren wherever you are, you need to go to the place that's safest for you. Um, at the time, between then, between the Davidson siren and the, and the Vanderbilt siren, there will be an alert review message that will go out telling anyone who signs up for an alert review to evacuate to a safe place. And then they also get a message when things, they get messages throughout, but you know, that can update them on the status of the weather, but they also get one that says, there's an all clear. Um, last night, there was some sort of procedural malfunction, so there was no alert that went out. Um, but Vanderbilt police were very good at getting our attention, and then we got our staff up and mobilized and got students to um, safe places. So we're kind of like, we're the fail safe. Um, you know, the, the original notification is the siren, the second notification is alert review, and the fail safe for both of those is our student staff to try and get students to get down to those spots. There was a t apparently a pretty serious tornado warning. Uh, the sirens went off. I was woken up at like 3.30 in the morning and just like in a sleepy haze, I was ushered down to the basement of Branscombe where we sat, probably like 40, 45 minutes maybe. And then I went back to my room and went back to sleep. It wasn't scary. Um, it was not exactly like I'm in a trailer. It's a big giant brick building. Uh, I was mostly just worried about like windows being blown out in glass or something. But since we were in the basement, didn't even care about that. Uh, I was just mostly annoyed at having to be awoken at 3.30 in the morning. No fun. But not every student decided to evacuate. Roush says that's probably not the best idea, but ultimately the Office of Housing and Residential Education can't force any student to evacuate. But yeah, I mean, it is up to, I mean, essentially it is personal choice. I mean, a student can say, I, I don't want to go. You know, and just like any other, you know, evacuation protocol that a, a city or a county would go into, there are people who say, I choose to stay. Uh, and, you know, they, they entertain the risks uh, that that involves. But we don't want them to, and so we, <laughs> we, you know, urge them to the best of our ability um, to go down to the places that we know are safe uh, for them uh, and then keep them there until, um, until things are okay for them to come back out. So there you have it. Last night was more of a nuisance than a real weather emergency, but it's better to be safe than sorry. For VTV News, I'm Carly. Thanks, Carly. Really good stuff. Last week, we had some breaking news after an email was sent out regarding the arrest of two students for narcotics. We now know more about the investigation. Two Vanderbilt sophomores, Simon Chung and Josh Nzui, 
were arrested on Friday, January 18th. They were charged with felony possession with intent to distribute marijuana, cocaine, and MDMA ecstasy after a two-month-long joint narcotics investigation between VUPD and the Metropolitan Nashville Police Department. They appeared in court the following Wednesday, and Judge Gail Robinson ruled there was probable cause to send the case to a grand jury. Their bond was $50,000 each, and both have been placed on interim suspension. We'll keep you updated on any new information in this story. The second annual Mayfield Yule Ball took place Saturday, January 26th in the Student Life Center. The event was hosted by Mayfield 11 and Phi Sigma Pi, and it benefited Books from Birth of Middle Tennessee. Mayfield 11 focused their service project on promoting childhood literacy through the Harry Potter series. It's a fundraiser for um, our nonprofit that we work with as a Mayfield, um, Books from Birth. They serve Middle Tennessee um, specifically, and what they do is they send one book a month to children who are under the, like, one, like zero through five. So parents can sign up for free for their kids and then they receive books every single month. So it's kind of helping for childhood literacy and getting their name out there. In the series, the Yule Ball is a winter formal dance that is held during the Tri-Wizard Tournament in the fourth book. The Vanderbilt Yule Ball featured Harry Potter themed decor, Quidditch goals and broomsticks for photo ops, food featured in the book series, and attendees dressed up like members of the wizarding world. There were performances from campus groups such as the Melodors, Tongue in Cheek, and Momentum Dance. I think it has a really good mix of um, performances, music, decorations are fantastic. The food is really unique. Uh, how many times do you have butterbeer on campus? So I think it's just the variety and just the uniqueness that makes it really attractive for me and others to come back. Once again, the Yule Ball was a big hit. Look out for Quidditch in the spring, too also hosted by Mayfield 11. Well, that's our show. I want to thank you for tuning in and make sure to join us again next week. Stay up to date with the latest Vanderbilt news by following us on Facebook and Twitter. Have a great night and enjoy your weekend.